Hello, nobody watching this video. I'm Squidboy, and I'm back at being angry on something I shouldn't care about. Today's episode, I watched a video by the YouTuber Wild Spartans, okay? I don't watch his videos, but I watched this one, and it was quite fascinating, if I do say so myself. You see, I watched this video, and more than anything else, it really just kind of confused me just in pure concept on why he made this. This video was titled, This Streamer Bans All Women From His Stream. So you know, I clicked it, the, the normal internet pastime of looking at person who do cringe thing that you have no connection to or never knew about and laughing at them. You know, the classic. There's a streamer who actually bans all women from his channel. His name is Jason R, and this isn't new for Jason, I found out. Alright, this little, uh, I found out thing, uh, where this has been going on for at least three years, is what's known as a surprise tool, and it will help us later. He goes as far as leaving Valorant lobbies if anyone in VC is a woman. He leaves the VC if there's any women in the Valorant game. What is that? Once every 7,000 games? <laughs> It's funny because Valorant is a terrible game, and I am expressing that by saying only men play it. And he bans anyone in this chat that is a woman, purely for the reason that they are a woman, nothing else. Now, I know this sounds like peak incel behavior, because, uh, it is. I'm sorry, you can't act like banning all women from your stream doesn't immediately give me an image of a guy drinking Mountain Dew with a fedora on sitting at his PC, okay? But, with all that being said, I'm going to defend Jason R here. You see, right now, I feel kind of conflicted. Because on one hand, I want to make the joke of, Hey, person I just made up in my head, aren't you wrong? Don't you feel stupid now? But on the other hand, I am also fulfilling his prophecy by making this video, so in a sense, he is probably right. And it is for this reason I will be portraying myself as Giga Chad memes for the rest of the video, making me the correct one by default. You see, I decided to make this video because of the way he decides to justify him defending this one guy he probably just found out about on the internet. Eh, shut up! Let me talk! Right off the bat, no, he should not have banned all women from his Twitch stream, and he shouldn't have left Valorant lobbies just because there happened to be a woman in the lobby. This isn't the second grade, you're not gonna get cooties, alright? But Jason has apologized, and he said he won't be avoiding these online situations anymore. And he refers to it like that through the whole apology. He is really avoiding the fact that he was avoiding women. He also said, I was avoiding certain online situations out of respect of my wife. When I was younger, I was not a good person to her. I respect that, I can't lie. Well, I can't lie, I don't respect that. That is psychopathic behavior and also not a very good excuse. I'll add to my thoughts on why this is incredibly stupid, but I'll let his video finish playing first, I guess. Avoiding making your partner uncomfortable is a good thing to do. Now, banning all women in your chat is obviously not a good way to go about that. So I'm glad that he is committed in this apology to not doing this kind of thing anymore, and I give props for that. I can't lie. Alright, so the immediate problem I have with this video is it has no reason to exist. It feels like it's only here because Wild Spartans had to put a video up because his schedule demanded it. Alright, think about what he did with this video. He brought a person to attention to his audience that did a bad thing, and then he defended the bad thing, and then left. What was the point of this video? And also, the way he just instantly accepted his apology, I have a few issues with. Immediately, remember that surprise tool I said would help us later? So yeah, this has been happening for at least three years, you know? So that's, that's a bit of a problem. So because of this, it seems a bit like to me that he might have just made the apology to avoid backlash. Now, on to him supposedly taking accountability. He did not. Just because he titled his thingy that does not mean he actually did it. You know why I know he's not taking accountability? Because he says online situations. He doesn't say, I discriminated against women, okay? If you were taking accountability, you would have said what you did. And yes, banning women from your Twitch chat is discrimination the same way it would be if you banned all people of a different race from your Twitch chat, or even if you banned all people with mustaches. It doesn't matter how stupid it is, it is still discrimination. And his reason for doing this, not wanting to make his 
life uncomfortable by existing in the same plane as a woman is incredibly weird and toxic. Someone in that relationship is being psychopathic. You're not cheating on your wife because Rebecca, age 14, put an emoji in the chat. Anyways, Bald Spartan wasn't actually defending this guy, so like, no hate to him, I just think he accepted his apology too soon and also made his video irresponsibly. So, wait, wait, what was that? Wait, why is... Why is a royalty-free version of the Jaws theme playing? Oh no. Oh no. It can only mean one thing. Anime profile pictures in the comment section have hot takes. That's right, everybody. The real reason I decided to make this video is to make fun of random people I don't know on the internet who have incredibly stupid opinions in the comment section. I will be using artist renditions of what they probably look like and because just looking at comments is boring. Josh C says, I was going to be upset, but the fact that he has a wife and did all that out of respect for her is weirdly wholesome in a way. You hear that guys? We got some wholesome discrimination over here. If he does it out of loyalty, then I got nothing else to say. Uh, you can't have anything else to say if you didn't start saying anything to begin with, but whatever. But if his wife forces him to, that's another story. You know, if man do thing bad, then whatever. If woman do same thing that bad, then that bad actually. Thanagogical says he's one guy, he can do what he wants. If that includes not interacting with other women, that's his business. Okay, here's the thing, okay? Women are just people. I know that might be hard for you to understand because you're probably an 11-year-old boy, but women are just people. And not interacting with a specific group of people is discrimination. This would be like if you didn't hang out with people of a different race. Friendly Canadian asks, honestly, is banning all women from his chat that bad of a thing? I mean, I wouldn't want to watch a woman who bans all men from their chat, so I assume it's the same for men. You know, I wouldn't want to uh, hang out with a group of people who stab me for having green eyes. So is it really that bad? I mean, they won't stab me as long as I don't hang out with them. Honestly, man, your first mistake was being Canadian. What, what can I say? I'm sorry. Don't worry, says, imagine being so insecure that you either disallow your husband from experiencing females for the fear of infidelity or have such a weak will that you can't be within the presence of another woman without thinking of cheating on her. They both are so incredibly toxic, it's almost as if they were made for each other. Wow, thank you, finally! A take that's when man do bad thing, man bad, when woman do bad thing, woman bad. Anyways, I uh, decided to highlight these comments because of the sheer amount of engagement they got. It's actually kind of worrying. Most of these got thousands of likes and a bunch of replies. But don't worry, for every incredibly cringe comment, there were two comments of people who were actually sane. So the internet is not completely lost yet, don't worry. This is the end card, the video is over, but you can still stay around if you want. I don't know why you would, that is stupid, da 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 da. I don't know what else to sing about. Subscribe, 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 subscribe.